glad that you're here. That's <laughs> What you needed. Glad that you're here. What's up, Troy? Yeah, happy Friday, Jerry. Good to see you, man. Whew, it's good to see you too, man. Good to see you too. It's been a week. I'm ready for a good weekend, man. I'm ready for a good weekend too. Who don't get really fucked up? I got to hit that thing. A pretty special piece, man. Got some babes to beat up. I'm streaming just what you needed. Glad that you're here. Ladies and gentlemen, Troy and Jerry. Oh, what's up, Jerry? You, brother. <laughs> Want to see my little lifesaver? Dude, that's dope. <laughs> I had to put some more heat on mine during the intro because it was too it was too cold. So I think I'm just about ready. Oh, oh, well, how about? Oh no, I dropped it on my keyboard. Oh, that ain't good. How about how about this for a, a glob? Oh, that's gorgeous. Start the show. Yeah, yeah. Happy Friday to that. Oh, there and there's my chirp, chirp a lurpin, chirp a lurpin. Everyone, get your yeah, D's in the chat yeah. if you're dabbing with me. And yeah, let's let's dab along with right. Holy crap. Where'd oh. you go? Where did you go? Right? <laughs> oh, my shit wasn't fucking... Oh, Jesus. That's huge. That's what she said. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, baby. Oh, oh. Welcome to the stream, gang. Good to have you all here, man. What's up in the chat? Holy smokes. That's how you drop in. That was, was dropping in hard. Hell of a whiteout, man. Did you see that? Uh-huh. Man, somebody somebody clipped that shit. Wow. Mm. Wow. That's how you kick off a weekend, brother. Whoa. That was that was great. You I crazy. Want to just end the show and just like start over now. Like <laughs> new show. That right. Play the, up, play, the, play the outro and we'll do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Uh, you had a good afternoon after our little pre-stream. We had, we had a nice little pre-stream today. That was a fun pre-stream. And yeah, bro, I'm getting into a little groove here. Like um, lately, uh, my wife has one of her friends come over. Uh, while oh. I'm streaming, while I'm streaming, yeah, congrats, bro. Yeah, that's great. And uh, and then, um, but no, the, the point is that she's she's uh, already having fun while we're doing this. And then, um, you're such a goober, man. Anyhow, the point is, it feels like um, like a pre party kind of thing. We're all just kind of hanging out on a Friday afternoon. It's a lot of fun. So uh, okay. that's what we do all the way up till here, man. It's fun. Having That's people cool. over, chilling out, hanging out before the, before the show. That's fucking fun, man. My you wife has I mean? a friend coming over tomorrow as well. Huh? Well, well, congratulations, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Since you were going there, I guess it's on your mind. Far fucking out. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't man. I can't. Where's my alcohol? I don't know. I don't know. That's, uh, I don't know. I found it. I got it. I got it. Oh, slurping, baby, slurping. Uh, good to good good to be here, though, man. It's always good to hang out on Friday nights with you. We're going to have some yeah, fun tonight. We are going to have some fun tonight. We had a long show last week. Like I think we went last, like three hours last week. It was way long, man. You're right. We're probably going to go long tonight, too. That's what she said. Right? We got, we got, some, we got some fun topics. We got some, some special clips from some recently discussed sessions we had some sessions with the uh, vaporizer wizard and Oren from the vape guide so those yeah. two guys are going to appear a little later 
That'll be fun. I appreciate you putting that together, man. That's going to be, yeah. So, I mean, last, last week we went forever. Cause I mean, fuck man. I mean, we talking about our favorite vapes. You're lucky. That's as short as we went. It's our passion, man. Well, you, so, yeah. I, I had like four vapes and Jerry, and you had like 17. I had 15. I am editing the video and I, I, we were 15. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it Thank was? Thank you very much. It yeah, was 15. 15. How many did I have? Yeah, like fucking one or some shit. You did like the desert island thing. Like, if I don't have one vape, and I said, Well, is it portable or desktop? And you said one. I was like, Okay, fine. I wasn't then, that hardcore. I couldn't, I couldn't even choose between the tiny might two and the mighty, you know, like I had to, I had to have them both. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But no, man, we're going to talk about this, that shit for a while. So, anyhow, yeah, tonight, man, we got clips and volcano and magic flight. Dude, we're, this is like if we're doing, um, a really hip stream in 2014 in terms of the products that are out right now or something like that. You know what I mean? Like the volcano and the, the magic one. <laughs> right. That's, that's, that's funny. Like, like an eight year flashback on what's hot in the vape scene. <laughs> it is. It's, it's a little bit of a retro reboot kind of episode. We didn't, didn't even plan it that way, man. That's, that's kind of crazy. Right. It's fucking funny, man. I like that. The retro reboot. We should, I like that idea. Actually, we're going to have to do one of those now, man. Like, like pick a date, pick a date in the past and we'll find out what was available. And that's what we'll have to, to talk about. <laughs> pick a what? Pick a date. And we'll, we'll limit the show to talking about what's available then. Like as if it were back then, it'd be like a time warp, you know, like January 2015. Oh. Dude, have you heard about the new Ariser vape? They're going to make it a portable or something, man. Or you... I see what you're saying. Like, like the today in history or whatever, like when it's your birthday, you look, you look shit up and you're like, Oh, this is the day that Prince launched the purple rain album or whatever. And you're like, you fucking, a! you know, right. Score. Exactly. Exactly. Man. Retro show. We'll just wake up and pretend it's 2006 and start talking about vapes. <laughs> we, can, we can add that as a segment. We can we can do some fun shit like that. It has like some fun segments. I like that, man. I like that. Yeah. So uh, tonight's not the Halloween night. So if you're dressed up right now, I am sorry. I am sorry if you're dressed up right now. On Monday, on uh, actual Halloween, uh, we're gonna stream again on Monday, and uh, that'll be our our costume party. So that's that's when you want to show up with your costume. That's when you can go trick or treating with Troy and Jerry. That's when we'll have some costumes on. So uh... yeah. Yeah, 420 your time, 720 mine. Again, apologies for any misunderstanding there. Um, I, yeah, I didn't even think until you said it right now that we could have said it before now. You know what I mean? I was saying, oh, yeah, we'll talk about it tonight and that'll be fine. Yeah. Could have said that earlier hey, on today. Do you know what you're going to gonna dress up as? I actually um, am going to look at a couple of costumes on Sunday and then I'll know uh, what I'm going to dress up as. So you're, like, you're going to go shopping or what do you mean you go you're gonna go look at you like okay so i'm <laughs> sounds like a craigslist story here i'm going to a friend's place who has through no fault of their own a collection of those blow-up costumes those fucking dinosaur -y type things and i'm not sure any of them would work in here but if one will and if i can vape in it that's what i'll be wearing dude you should we put you should put the volcano inside your dinosaur costume so it's like filled with volcano vapor. Oh my god, this is getting brilliant. Okay, yeah, because if I can hot box the costume, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I've got miles of tubing over there, I've got volcanoes. Uh, I could come up with multiple. I could have the monster mask, we could have like instead of like the dual mask, I'd have the eight into a whole fucking thing sounds my, legit sounds my tits legit. would vaporize in there man everything would be vaporizing because it would just be drenched in vapor <laughs> yeah i i'm done do i'm done how would i do that this is now this 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 deserves contemplation <laughs> we didn't figure this one out yeah I, I i can't even imagine but now now i got my imagination rolling on what the hell i'm gonna do because i haven't oh figured God. out what the heck i'm gonna do yet holy cow the only question is can i get one in here i mean if i if i make one turn with something with a tail there goes a the whole shelf you know what yeah, i mean you, so, have, you have to be careful 
You have to be careful. You might have to do this, replace it with a sumo, maybe do this inflatable sumo. I might have to push the desk back and float a camera out there and have it be like the old days when I had the corner and the whole corner. I don't know. It might be mm. something. That'd be interesting. Do do the stream in a different location. Mm. On Monday, on Monday, I'm worried that my lights in this room will be mistaken as like a porch light because my window is by the front door and my lights light up the front area quite a bit. So I'll probably get trick or treaters Monday during the stream. I'm gonna to your window or to the door, your front door next year. Well, if I don't, if I don't handle them, they're gonna they're gonna ring my doorbell or something. If I don't out. handle them, they'll be coming through the fucking window looking I, uh, for the light, like fucking moths eating candy. <laughs> is this an opportunity to put out a bowl and put up a camera there and stream it? And call people out if they take more than one. Or... <laughs> I think that'd be hilarious. Can you do that? Can you get sued for that shit? Or Why? No? How? What? It's I don't know, like some privacy shit. I don't, I don't give a shit. I'm just asking. I'm not saying. That. I'm like, hey, fuck you. I'm just. It's could you protect Troy? That's all I'm saying. I don't, I don't think saying. so. I mean, it's it's. Then go for it. Call it a day. I wouldn't need like, to talk about it's this. It's like the nest. It's like you're, when you're in public, you're being you're being videoed. There's cameras everywhere. You know, if uh, you're in, if you're in public view, you're you're able to be filmed by people. That's the uh, the law. Then put the fucker up. I want it up there now, man. Like, yeah, we can just you know BRB it and get the. <laughs> That's fucking I, great. I could dude. even hand out candy. I could I could install like a, a PVC pipe, you know, and then like shove the candies down the PVC pipe, like dunk dunk dunk, like there you go, kid. <laughs> And then if it's an adult, I can like hot box them. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll blow you a vapor cloud. <sighs> like, <Yeah. exhale. laughs> dude, this is getting better and better. You got you got two days to get it together, man. Alfred, <laughs> no, man. I only got I only got one day because I got I got the wife and the friend tomorrow. That's gonna be an all day thing. So, oh yeah, they're not gonna help you lay the PVC for the no. <laughs> I have to lay the pipe myself. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that, but. I knew you'd pick up or inform. I don't know if I have any PVC. I might have some bamboo. Got some pipe. Actually, you know what? I have some PVC. I have the PVC because I use PVC to hang a, a, a fan in my tent. Forgot all about that. Yeah. That's uh, fucking funny, man. You're killing me. I I let we gotta come up with something though. We gotta come up with something. Where are we? God damn, I hate it when I lose that thing, man. Hey, oh, we got W3 Max subscribing with Prime. Thanks, bro. We got Canisaur68 subscribing as well. Thanks, Danny, guys. Danny USA resubscribing. Thanks. Well, Danny, keeping it up, man. Thanks. Uh, Appreciate that, bud. Georgie Jungle also resubscribed. Thanks, man. Right on, right on. Wild Willie419 resubscribed. Mm -hmm. Wild Willie means something to me. So, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, psychedelic whale resubscribe. Happy Friday to you as well. I like that. My 544 Strayzilla, Ima Bevo, Delia Franco, 930. All subscribe. Thank you so much. And said oh, Zen guys. XP as well. Woo! Rock and roll. Appreciate that, guys. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Oh my God. It's two minutes and 16 seconds away from a 420. How about that shit? What? You almost got me grounded. Yeah, we can do a dab, blow a bag. What are we going to do here, man? Hey, let's blow some bags because yeah. I want to show off this white volcano. Mine's still mine's still cool. Mine's not hot right now. Mine's hot, but a virgin. Oh, yours is a virgin. Yeah. Virgin. And a, virgin. And a hot one, too. <gasps> Got oh, I just knocked something off my desk, and it's gone forever now. I heard, I heard that. So this white volcano... This is the uh, love for love, you know, with love for peace. I mix it up every time because right in your face. Oh, you're right. It's written on the back. Son right of a in shit. there. Hey, hey. <laughs> so let's zoom in on this thing. This thing is all right. Beauty looking. If only we could uh, make me larger. 
So as you can see, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was laughing too much. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm a fan. It's it's white. It's matte white. Mm -hmm. It's the whitest volcano you know. On the you back, know. mine says 420 vape zone. That's right. And, and that, right there. With, with love for with peace. Love for peace. Part of the campaign there. It's a volcano classic. It's a volcano classic, which means the wire is fixed. You can't unplug it. Mm -hmm. It's got the uh, heat and the air buttons down here, little rocker switches. Turn the heat oh, on rocks. now because I'm ready to vape. Right. I see you have it on nine. Is that what you vape at? No, I'll I'll probably turn it down to like seven and a half. Uh huh. I'm on seven right now. Uh, there's no there's no conduction ring on top. It doesn't have that that ring on top where it heats the bowl, like the volcano hybrid. So this one's not going to have quite as much oomph in the vapor. Right. It's going to be pure convection, which some people prefer. Some people prefer. That's what it sounds there you like. Go. That's what it sounds heard like. Heard that before. Heard that before. That that gets my mouth watering there, man. That gets your what? My mouth watering. Oh, okay. It's like a Pavlo's dog kind of a situation there, man. I hear yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I hear the fan going. going. I hear you. That's a good Ready one. That's that. good. Ready for that. All right, I, guess I, I am grinding at the 420 moment here. Um, they uh, the, the the deal on these things is they're, for every one they sell, they only made 1000 so they're going to give 100 bucks per to the uh, chair, they picked out some charities that are helping out with um, uh, victims and displacement, uh, victims from the war over in Ukraine. That's real close to them. So um, that's what they're doing uh, with the money side of it. They made a thousand of them, and they're numbered one from a thousand. Uh, this is kind of interesting. Uh, what's yours numbered, Troy? Where's the number? Uh huh. It's up on the rim, up the very top. It's up around here. No, it ain't. I don't see it. Right. Yours is not numbered. It's labeled vape zone. Oh, so they they made special ones for the people that got, and we didn't we didn't take out of the one thousand. You're outside. You're outside the thousand. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, because the one that we signed had the one of one thousand up here, and I was like, oh, that's the motherfucker right there, and that's the one that had all the signatures on it. I think that's good. I think that's good. I feel better that way because. If if they made a thousand and they were donating one hundred per device or whatever, it makes sense. I think yeah. it, it makes sense that like our gifted white volcano wouldn't deduct from from that potential charity right. donation. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, man. What's I think that sticks on four twenty. That's my I Instagram. I have the four twenty on the end on Instagram. And a couple other places too. If I went somewhere and stick stones wasn't available, I'd attack the 420 on. There was one instance I was looking for it, and stick stones was some fucking real estate developer out west or out in the Midwest or something. I was like, no fucking shit. I can't have that because of something they doing. They couldn't put Jeroops on there. Right. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm pretty sure this was done before we established any of that tragic action. Yeah. Uh, sure. that's, that's pretty funny. Uh, so Probably well, get a paint pen and blob mine. <laughs> <laughs> while we blow some bags here, let's uh ask the vaporizer wizard what he thought about this whole trip to Germany. Does that sound cool? Right on. Yeah, come on, wizard. So we didn't we didn't know if it was hush hush or what we could talk about or what was going on, and they didn't really give us too many details other than here's your itinerary. Yeah, you know, bring, you bring warm clothes and outdoor yeah. shoes, basically. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so we were just, and you know, and I, I've thought about that a, a lot after the fact about how much in the dark we were, and like that kind of like added to like just the surprise of everything and what we were doing, like the fact that we didn't know an itinerary, we didn't know like here's you know two o'clock we're all gonna be here and three thirty speech in the yard and fucking like it was so nice that it was just like allowed to flow and kind of just end up where we ended up and and it was I thought it it worked out better that way but. Yeah, maybe a maybe a little warning on what to pack and what to wear because there's a lot of people that didn't even finish that hike that we were talking about, you know, and platform boots that they had on and all kinds right. of shit. So. Right, man. But, that was a heavy one. That was a heavy that one. Was a, yeah, that was a beefy hike up that hill, man. 
yeah but no i was thrilled to death to, to find out that you guys were coming and uh and that we at least we, we knew some people that we that we were going to be with there because you know we've been the champs with you guys multiple times and and we all get along pretty well i'd like to think so anyways so yeah. it's it's always fun hanging out with you guys and shooting the shit and and most of the time i'm, I'm learning a lot from you guys so i i you know there's there's tons of vapes out there that i that i don't even know about that are very unique and you know have a you know one of one and you guys definitely are in that that space so it's it's nice to learn from you guys while i'm there as well but. it's it's great to share and even just be around people that have like-minded interests absolutely yeah you yeah. know like i remember my my first champs it was just so fucking rad to hang around people that also know about vapes because yeah. normally, like I show my vapes to people, and I'm like, "What the fuck, dude? You got a lot of fucking vapes. Why do you have so many?" You know, and it's it's a completely different thing when people are like interested, like genuinely yeah. interested, and then they have insights and experience that we could share and bounce off of. It's a it's a great opportunity. So yeah, you having you guys there and Sneaky Pete and, and Oren. Yeah, that was cool. a that was the first time I met Oren and. Uh... And he was he was awesome to hang out with. Right? He was he always had his crafty plus with him the entire time, just chiefing on that thing. So. He was man, he was man. I loved it. I saw her when he was with his crafty plus. Yeah, yep. no, that was good hanging out, man. Yeah, we didn't like. You're right. I, I mean, I didn't know what it was, what to expect, who to talk to. At one point, Troy and Pete started talking, and when we figured out that Pete was going, then I was like, okay, then I'm pretty fucking sure the wizard's going to be there. And yeah. then beyond that, I didn't know what to expect. So um, I was glad to hear just before it was confirmed you were coming, man. Because then I knew we were going to have a blast, man. I knew it with all, all day long. So that was fucking dope, man. Yeah, honestly, I was a little scared to go. I was just like, you know, I've never done any international traveling. And, you know, I'm pretty comfortable in where I'm at. And my dog and I haven't even... I, we've never spent, you know, more than a day apart from one another. So oh, I'm just man. very comfortable in my space, you know? Yeah. And it was, so the thought of jumping on a plane, planes for 24 hours and going to another country was, was a lot to kind of take in, but man, am I glad I went. It was, it was such an experience. So, right. Yeah. yeah. What were your, what were your overall impressions of the event? I mean, it's just, I don't know if I'll ever, top that honestly i don't think there's really <laughs> anything that will be as extravagant or you know just as as thought out and genuine as as that experience was it was i don't know <laughs> they yeah. set the bar very high they yeah. absolutely like, did like like imagine if, if if you went there with like your your fiance or your girlfriend or something and then like now your wedding has to be at that level. And, <laughs> like, <laughs> you're fucked. Yeah, dude. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Not like anybody in specific that we're talking about here, but yeah, <laughs> it's fucking great, man. Oh, look at that. How's your bag, Jerry? Oh, okay, no, I'm not... about to blow another one. <laughs> the clip was so long. I'm like, I actually tried to get another bag. Should I blow another one during while I'm sucking this? <laughs> oh god! Oh god! It was it was really cool uh, touring the stores in Bickle Factory with Sneaky Pete and the Vaporizer Wizard and Oren and all of those journalists. Like to hear to hear their reactions because they they're not like us. They're not like into vapes. You know, like right. you and I are walking around like, oh look, mighty medic, you know, like we're <laughs> observing this shit. It's and these real. these other people are like, whoa, they make more than the volcano, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like there was there was such a gap in the in the shit. Uh, but it, it was it was rad touring the factory, period. Especially with all those dudes. Yeah, I love the headset fucking thing they had going on. It didn't miss a word. I didn't have to look at anything. I, I didn't want to, but I could hear everything. That was fucking dope. Yeah, that was cool. They, they were they were very well prepared. Like they had they had thorough planning on that. Uh, let's check in with with Oren because he had some words about that factory tour as well. And you can blow another bag. And probably I'll push through another whole bag then. <laughs> and then, uh, what, what was your favorite parts? So I'm wondering. 
I was stoked to meet you, Oran. You know, we, we've, we've worked together um, through the affiliate program at Planet of the Vapes for a little bit there, but never never got to face-to-face or really even talk, just kind of emails. And, um, you know, you never know what you're getting into with that. And I'm telling you, man, I was really stoked to meet you. Like, it was it was really nice to put the face and who you are with it and, you know, parts that, 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 that made sense and parts that were totally different because we're just filling in gaps with our own minds. But Man, yeah, I, it was. I really appreciated uh, get, getting to come to this event and then being able to meet you. Um, but, but I got a question because we didn't know what was up. Like coming into this event, what did you think was going on? What did you think was? Uh, what did you think? You know what? I didn't know. My kind of wish was a new product launch, right? Uh, you know, I was hoping for that, but I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect. Obviously, the factory tour. Um, I expected that to be just just the way it was. I don't think there was any surprises there, except except for maybe for me at least looking at the factory and seeing that there's a lot of manual labor kind of being done. It's not as automated and machined as as I thought. There's people sitting with almost like you know screwdrivers and stuff and putting the stuff together, giving each product special attention, hand crafting each vape so uh, i it was that that was that was very nice to see but the whole being in nature together you know i thought they were gonna just uh, you know take us around but i did not expect the level of uh, of investment and how personal they made it and obviously um the big hall itself but but it was very very personal he he could have easily drove with his car and just met us places but he was with us in the bus making himself available for us mm-hmm. for questions anything you want to know you know it's just it's just very 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 nice to see it, it made me like the company a lot more definitely it did it did change that that image like because when you imagine a factory you imagine automation and we've been to a bunch of vape factories and the stores in Bickle factory felt different. It, it felt mm-hmm. like a, I don't know. There was a lot of attention being put into every single product, every single thing, every single product. very inspiring environment. Also it's all open and well lit and it's in this beautiful, in this beautiful city or town or, or <laughs> whatever they, they call, it. but it's just beautiful, very inspiring, a very inspiring place. And the whole team, when you see the team and how dedicated they are, you know, Sophia and everybody, every single one of them. I don't want to start naming because I don't want to forget anyone, but every single one of them. It, it did. It felt very genuine. Every right. Everyone we talked to was extremely genuine. Right. Like I, I had some casual conversations with some people in the break room, you know, just like employees. And, and, and they knew who I was they, and they were they were genuine. They were they were excited about the events and. That was good shit, man. Yeah, definitely. It was nice meeting you guys and the other guys, and obviously Pete and 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 uh, they probably a wizard and everybody. It's so nice to finally hang out for real, you know. Sure, yeah. babe. Whoo! How about that bag, Jerry? I'm getting, I'm getting <laughs> high now, man. I'm getting high. I saw, yeah, I saw you woofing that thing down. Yeah. Uh. I was going to say something, but then I had that bag comment, and then it made me forget what I was going to say. Well, we just finished the Oron clip. Right. Oh, Vip- Vaporizer Wizard is in the chat. That's what distracted me. There you go. Shout That's out, Vaporizer right. Wizard. What's up, Wiz? What's that is, up? That is a hot little piece right there. man. Put my elbow that on. Was, that was fun, vaping with Oron, man. That was, uh, that was cool. That was somebody that I hadn't even met yet in terms of reviewer that I was really stoked to kind of close the loop on that, man. He was a lot of fun to hang with, man. I like him. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. I'm, I'm really glad that, uh, well, not super glad that somebody fucked me out of my, my seating, but I'm glad that rather than taking the seat where I got moved to, right. I, I ch- chose to sat by Oran, uh, because, uh, having dinner with him and, uh, the guy that works at stores in Bickle, the guy that's been there for ever, I forgot his name now. Uh, and then Rusty Larynx, the, yeah. the that, that guy was, um, he, he was dropping so cool much fucking knowledge. It was insane. It was insane. It's cool as shit. Yeah, it was, it was cool as shit. 
uh, Vaporizer Wizard has some more things that he wants to say. Let's let's bounce him in here. What okay. about you guys? Did you have any negatives? I mean, we uh, what was uh, the first day without weed was was pretty tough. Yeah. Shit, I totally forgot about that. Absolutely, yeah, that was about yeah. it, really. Yeah. After that, it was great. But yeah, that was that was that was fun. Getting getting drunk and throwing up instead of being high was a low point. Oh yeah. my goodness, I forgot about all that. Yeah, you guys went to a, uh, what was it, like a pub down there by the river. Yeah, yeah, we we drank at this pub like literally right on the edge of the Danube and just like chilled beautiful. and hung out with with uh, some of the locals, like the local day drinkers. You know, like it was yeah. it was a different culture. It was cool. Yeah. It was nice that we had a lot of people from Germany and Austria and like surrounding countries that knew the language and could help us around. And like, that was, that was so nice, especially the first day we were there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There, there was a few language barrier moments. Like I remember we went, we went to like a, this meat store, this delicatessen and <laughs> there was a line. So we knew like that's where to go. Like when people are lined up, like that's, that's, that's the place that has the, the good shit. Mm hmm no english whatsoever no like, no nothing and the and the menu was like not like there wasn't even things to point at like no pictures it was just handwritten shit on a board so we basically so knew it was good yeah you just didn't just know what you were getting we didn't order what the person <laughs> yeah. in front of us ordered <laughs> like yeah. oh that, i heard the word schnitzel let's get that <laughs> yep. sounds good i know that's a meat thing i don't know what it is but that's a meat thing yeah, that uh, the Indian food we had that last night was oh, that was so good. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and man, that fucking um, what was that one sauce that we kept dipping? Um, mango. Is it mango? Oh, sauce? Mango curry? Mango was it curry. mango curry? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can still. Taste okay. That. Okay. How about this, Jerry? Which one mm. would what would you rather have? The desserts from the castle, or the mango uh, sauce with some rice? um desserts all day bro that was insane yeah, yeah. to have that many different tastes that you could just go all around the clock all day long with it was awesome which was yeah. your favorite dessert what was it like a lemon um... there was like a lemon sorbet like a lemon ice or yep. something yep. yeah the chocolate mousse the chocolate mousse and... with the whipped cream and berries and there was like a panna cotta panna cotta yeah with like uh forest berries or something for it was it was all like local everything was local to the, like the castle grounds well i mean you saw me nick i was i kept going around saying this was the best one and then no that one's the best one and then no that one's the best one and, then, and i just like every time i'm like i love them all man they're all when you when you eat the way i was eating you know what i mean with that mindful i'm gonna take forever and focus on it everything's yeah. amazing everything's amazing and, and they were amazing but i was i was giving them all the stage you know what i mean so it was awesome that shit yeah, was dude, good was, you were in there for a minute we were like outside at the fire and then i got and then came came all the way back upstairs and we were gonna leave and you're like no i'm staying <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying my desserts yeah yeah, so everybody had cleared it out. Cab. You're leaving the party. Oh, yeah. Jerry's still in there slowly, mindfully eating his fucking desserts. <laughs> yeah. My end of the table had two people leave before dessert. So oh. we had two extra dessert plates that we all did oh, eat up. Goodness. Yeah. I love wow. that chocolate. It was so good. That is panna is it panna cotta? Is that what it was, Troy? Yeah. That was phenomenal and different. Like I, I would, if I had to order one again, I'd go, since I don't know how to get that, I'd get that. The other two I've had some version of before, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, uh, fuck, that panna cotta was so good. Mm -hmm. And then you said they were even like, I mean, different textures. Like, I mean, weren't some, like, who knows? Yeah, what the, I the second one was different than the first one that I ate. Yeah. The first one had a little more, it was like, it was a little more set, had a little mm -hmm. more chew, you know, it was like a yeah. little more cheesecake or a little more like set yogurt or something. I don't know. That's what mine was like. Yeah. Second one was real creamy. It's really soft. Yeah. Dang. I want to try a creamy Amazing. one now. <laughs> Going in for the weed. Dude. That clip, um... that clip made me hungry. I apologize. If that, if that clip made anybody else hungry or if it was too damn long. Made me reminisce, dude, but um dude we should talk a minute 
because I, I, I want to know how you're doing with like the mindful eating that we've talked about doing is different than the stuff I was doing at the, at that dessert. You know what I mean? Like this is a different type of mindfulness. Like what, what, what we're going through in the program as far as, Oh, you're talking about CK's program. Yeah. As far as being intentional and thinking why, and then what happens and, you know, really taking stock before and after. And I just, it was really, really interesting. Really interesting. Have you, have you had any, uh, any good moments with that? Not so much with the mindful eating, unfortunately. Uh, I've done a little bit of like kind of playful mindful eating when I've been really, really stoned on the couch and I'm eating one of my favorite snacks. They're, they're called cracker nuts. They're, <laughs> they're like this it's like a Fili- it's a Filipino, it's a Filipino, it's a peanut coated in a cracker. And they're they're coated with like MSG and flavoring. They're delicious, and they're they're oddly crunchy, but with like a peanut inside. So it's like a crunchy outer shell, and then a crunchy peanut as well. But it's a really neat texture, and they're coated in MSG and salt and and all the flavors. So you put it in your mouth, and yet it's like you the, boom, you got all this flavor, and then you got this weird texture with no flavor at all. And then you crunch into it, and then you get these weird layers. So I've been you know, playful, mindful eating slowly rather than like shoveling food in my mouth mm-hmm. you know, I've been, been doing a little bit of like eating one by one that way more often than not if i notice it's midway or almost near the end and i'm like oh fuck i went through a whole meal again without even thinking about it you know what i mean like it's, it happens all the time it's so easy to fall into the routine uh what, what jerry's talking about if, if you weren't in the previous streams to to understand on, on this trip to Germany, on, on the hike up the hill, we did uh, a mindfulness exercise. I and mean, we did several mindfulness exercises that, that day and on the trip. So a, a, lot, a lot of the experience was about like mindfulness and making us a little more aware. Like that was mm-hmm. part of the experience. And I wanted to bring that up as well. Like like both vaporizer wizard and Oran kind of talk about how the trip changed our perspective of stores and Bickle. Like, like, well, wow, look like these vapes are, are really well made and it's a really nice factory and the employees are treated really, really good. So yeah, we, we, it changes our perspective. It changes the uh, reputation of stores and Bickle, but was this trip entirely focused on that? No, like we spent what the first three hours at the factory and then the rest was in the wilderness at mm-hmm. the castle on a boat. Mm. You know, it, it wasn't all promotional things at the factory. It was a lot of like almost like team building, but not team building. You know, it was like people building. Yeah, opportunities to connect. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just everywhere I turned around, you know, even at the at the factory, too, there was there was plenty to do there as far as um, talking to the employees that we met or, you know, just hanging out with the other people on the on the tour. Uh, yeah, it was it was definitely I loved how there was. There wasn't much structure and what was structure was really just kind of open structure. Anyhow, you know what I'm saying? Like like the walk up the up the hill, that's. There was structure to that, but I mean, how much can you structure walking? You know what I mean? So that there's some freedom there. And then um, it was just, it was just fun to hang out at night and meet everybody and get the time to, you know what I mean? A lot of times you don't get the time to really feel people out. If that makes sense. And, 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 and I know I personally like to like to feel people out that way, spend time with them. I like to get high with them. If I can vape with someone, I, I tend to get a, a feel for them. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, man. Man, so. It it was it was so cool smoking or vaping with with Jurgen. Yeah. Like that was that was an experience. Yeah, man. I think so, man. That was dope. Uh, He's a cool and, dude, man. And I couldn't have asked for a better environment. Like three three hundred and sixty degree scenery, you know, the, the yeah. sun sunset. Or like the the dusk lighting, the campfire, man. 
gas mask. <laughs> well, that came out later. That was that was Troy and Jurgen session number two. That was the, the late night one. That was fun, man. That was fun passing that around with him. <laughs> that was. I, I I love that right as I snapped that picture, he was like, it's not for publication. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Uh, hilarious, man. All right. So um so yeah, so this other way of mine for leading though, or at least not other way, but but an, uh, other approaches or perspectives or augmentations is like like there eating those desserts, my focus was on everything that was going on inside my mouth. I mean, I would look at it, but I might spend a lot of time eating and tasting and assimilating that food and paying attention to it every way through. And it was fun to do that bite by bite and took forever. And what we're doing with ZK's thing is, is interesting where it's, it's more of a, Oh, um, why am I eating? You know what I mean? Like what, what's, what's propelling me to eat right now? And then why did I choose what I ate? What did I choose? Why did I choose it? How did it make me feel? Um, how did that energy feel in my body? Did it get used well? You know, that kind of stuff. And, and, and how did I feel afterwards? And just things I never think about. It's, it's, it's life-changing shit, really. If you really, if you do it, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, the, the day that I'm on just contained a, a pretty, pretty neat little life hack that I'm trying to implement. Uh, and I don't remember, I don't understand the the reasoning i'm not going to try to explain the reasoning or what it's supposed to be doing i'm just going to explain what what you're supposed to do and it's five minutes before you eat you have 90 seconds of exercise whether it's jumping jacks or whatever but something like intense like the the, the bear walk is what i'm what mm. i'm doing so mm -hmm. I'm doing, oh bear plank <clears throat> yeah so i'm doing i'm doing that five minutes before i eat and then after I eat, I go for a, a casual walk, uh, oh. just like just like outside down the block, you know, just like whatever, just like around the around the neighborhood, just for like five minutes, if that. And I have so much more energy, like through the wow. afternoon, and I feel I feel so much better about the the digestion. I hadn't done anything beforehand like that. That's interesting. Is that is that coming in the instruction? Are you ahead of me on that one? I guess. Yeah, I'm. Okay. I'm, I'm probably a few days ahead of you because you skipped like two weeks or some shit. Yeah, I'm on the I'm on the bare plank at this point, which I couldn't believe that fucking stance, man. That thing, it's so funny because because you, you sit up, you, you, you're on all fours, relax like that for a long time. And all you gotta do is lift your knees up just a little bit, and instantly everything is like hard, <laughs> and it's like no time. The whole body is feeling it. That's Crazy. an amazing little exercise. Ah, uh, did you get some there? Did you get some? Run with it, man. Knock it out. What? <laughs> Phrasing like you oh. want to run with something there, man. So I know bags are making me stone, Jerry. Dude, me too. And I finished my third one on here. And okay, so I'm already kind of catching up. So I'm, re I'm ready for more because I'm I've I have a hybrid in the living room that I've beat on for a couple months now, really. Um, so this is a totally different thing. Um, the third bag whacked me, but I'm I'm starting to recover. But I do two bags on the hybrid and I'm done. And it starts to get a little too harsh and not rewarding for me. And I feel like this third bag kind of did that. Like I, I normally used to get four bags out of a classic, but I think I've changed my standards and I'm going to stop at three and uh, move on to a fresh bowl. That's what I'm going to do. What bag are you on? Uh, I think it's my third. Yeah, it's my third. And I, I made a fresh bowl on this, this bag. Okay, so you're on your second bowl. You did two bags on the other bowl. What, what, temps, yeah. what temps did you use for that other? What, other what temp are you on? What temp are you on? I mean, I know what you started on. You were on seven and a half. I'm on seven the whole time. You were on seven and a half in the beginning. I started at seven and a half on the first bag, and then I did the second bag. I got ten. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna love you, man. Like, there's not a ten, but that's fucking cool. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I, I, I ten, ten just means full speed, like all in, <laughs> full send. Eleven. I mean, eleven, motherfucker. That's what I meant. I know there's no ten. I meant eleven. That's fucking great. Yeah, I get you. So uh, everything, everything you do on these vapes is all in. I love them so. I'm gonna stick on seven, but I'm gonna stop after three because I'm just not. I'm not into chasing it beyond the, the the roughness or the tickle or whatever you call it. So uh, I'm gonna stick to that. I'm gonna brush this fucker off. See if I can. I just pulled this fucker out of the bin, so it's not that great. A, it's dirty. Wow. I think I want to have a dab, Jerry. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do that, or let's do that, and then I'll come back to a second bag. Oh, oh you can tab with me. I mean, it's four twenty right now. You can you can blow your bag as well. I mean, second bowl. A second bowl is what I meant. Let's do a dab and then a second bowl. All right, all right. I want to hit my mini nail over there, but my camera's not going with me. But I want to hit I'm, my mini nail. I'm pulling my mini nail here. Awesome. And one more of these, man. Like my dab do. What you know about that? Found it. I love this fucking Puffco heat knife, man. You just you got yours. You're using. Do you have one of these? Do you use this fucking? Thing? I do have a, a Puffco hot knife. I like it. I like it. I, I find it's really useful when you're using like a proxy or a Puffco Pro or something like a Puffco. Mm -hmm. Anything with like an, a, a small atomizer, super handy yeah. to like just drop your dabs in there. Uh, but with with the e nail, uh, I have this and since the nail is hot it just melts off anyway if i find it's redundant to use the hot knife and that plus i don't have to like put the hot knife down and pick up this i said this this already needs to be in my hand with mm -hmm. the with the mini nail so that's that's why I, I use it here and then on the on the slurper um <laughs> i i find that accidentally melting mm -hmm. And not having it over the the melt dish can lose your dab on the slurper. So I find that I, I like to use a, a metal dab mm -hmm. tool on the slurper. I use this fucker on everything, man. I drop it in my mini nail trench. I bop it. I drop it on the slurper. I really dig it, man. All right, you use ready? It on everything. Yeah, man. I use it on everything, man. I'm going in. nice whoa, whoa. You see that you guys see that shit <laughs> you, you fill it up again here's the uh the mini nail with the guard take that off there so it doesn't get hot as shit oh that's good oh, it's, right there. it's pretty hot i like that gold guard that's beautiful right it's pretty sweet what what temp you got that on i'm on i think it's on 4 30 right now i cranked All it up right. a little bit i don't know why i don't know why i swallowed the fly mine's on 343 and every time i hit it it drops 20 with the first hit and then I wait for it to recover. Now it's starting to recover. And now it's going to start doing some damage. Hmm. Oh. Hitting yours? <laughs> You clouding it up over there? Are you on mute? You're on mute. I don't hear you. That's cool. That's cool. Good thing I wasn't saying anything important. <coughs> <coughs> How long have I been on mute? The whole time I went over here. When I was showing the mini nail and stuff? No, when I, when I was over there talking about waiting for the temp to come up. I came over here and I never heard from you again. Oh my god! Wait, but 
when I was describing the nail, when I was holding the mini nail to, to the screen, did you, could you hear me then? Oh my God. Okay. Oh. Well, shout out mini nail sponsor of the show. You just go to Troy and Jerry save a couple bucks. Mini nail comes in a I, few options. This is the regular sized titanium hybrid nail with the sick dish. This is my preferred mini nail setup. Uh, the XL is awesome, but I like the the tight precisionness of the hybrid nail. Boom. Yeah, I love this thing, man. They got a Halloween sale going on now too. You can save a little more. So check that shit out for the rest of the month. Yeah, yeah. They have some sales going on. I like their stuff. I like their stuff. That's why they're a sponsor of the show. That's why I use their stuff. As you know, uh, we don't just take sponsorships from all the companies that want to throw money our way. And they're, believe it or not, there are other companies that want to throw money our way. But uh, we keep it limited to companies that we really, really like. So that's that's why Mini Nail is on our list. Yeah, man. Shout out Mini Nail. Love those guys. I can't see, wait to see what they've got coming later. Guys are always doing something cool. Oh, okay. So that was a lovely dab. That was a lovely dab. Low temp kind of kind of perked me up a little bit. Oh, you're perky. For... We got a perky Jerry. We need to make a low. Uh, we need to make a a lovely dab song. A lovely dab song. Yeah. My wife hmm. listens to this song and i don't know what the hell it is but it, it i believe the lyrics are lovely day and it's sung repeatedly and it's not my favorite song in the world but in my head i'm always thinking lovely dab lovely dab lovely dab so it's... <laughs> uh do you like having that the, every all day long is it one of those you wish would go away or do you like having it there the whole time the song or yeah, yeah. in my is head. That a good, is that a good one to have in your head? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a you know plea for sanity. You know, it's a, it's a, the way it, the the things that a busy brain does to stay active. You know, it's a little subconscious focus loop. Right on. So it's a good one. Like when I was bored in school, I you, you know, I could count the tiles in the ceiling or. Something like that, like yeah. When I I was I was a altar boy in, in church when I was a kid, and while on altar, while on in the, in the big wooden chair, I counted all of the tiles in the church ceiling, and then in order to not forget it, because I knew that if I forgot it, I would just count them again, because this is like <laughs> I had I had this OCD thing as a kid, I I carved it into the the fucking priest's chair <laughs> like during church like he's like fucking giving a sermon and i'm over here like like with my fingernail like writing like 1364 <laughs> big old four digit number on there man oh he's probably coming in going trying to trying to figure it out this is john 1364 <laughs> Looking up a bunch of different books. <laughs> oh God. That's funny, man. I, I did a little altar time there too, man, in the Episcopal church oh. back in the day. A little choir time, altar time. Did some uh, yeah, I did I did my time, man. <laughs> you did your doing time. time. Doing time, man. Doing time. I God, I I I don't. I don't I, I remember like having to wake up early and ride my bike to church to do that shit. Ugh. As a kid too, man, it sucks. I mean, it's like, come on, it's the last thing you want to do on one of your weekend days is wake up early and go do that. At least that's how I felt about it. I was like, oh. I remember, I remember the first time that the other fucking kid didn't show up because it was supposed to be two, two, two kids. And like one person does this this one routine, and the other kid does the other routine. I only 
fucking knew the one routine. I only knew how to do the one thing. Like I only knew how to do the easy shit. Oh, the altar stuff you're talking about. Yeah. 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 Like during mass, like like, the other kid had to like ring a bell and go get the book and stand there with the book and do all the crazy shit. I I didn't know how to do any of that shit. Cause I was just, I was like a fucking noob, you know? Are you number two though? Are you number two or number three? The other, I was, well, I was the number two. Okay. And the, the the other kid didn't show up, so I was the only one. So I had to do all the shit. And the priest was like, like, hey, like, and I'm like, what? You know, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And and like at one point, like I, I pulled the fucking the thing out of the, okay. the the wrong hole. There's like in the Catholic church, there's like this this cabinet like up on the altar, like where there's like the special fucking Eucharist or something. I don't know. Yeah. I went up there. I'm like, I think this is what he wants. And I like brought it out. And he's like, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. You know, like I had to put it back. You're running around looking for one cracker. <laughs> I, I didn't wear. <laughs> traumatic, man. <laughs> and I, I remember you're having to, to pour the, the water Ooh. over his fingers. And I didn't have the towel. And he's like, where's the, he's like all wet. And he's like, where's the, I'm like, oh, whoops. (laughs) Like, What'd you do? Like use my robe or something? No, I had to like run back, run back in there. (laughs) So so it's been, sorry, there were at least a few times during the service. You you had to during the service. Oh dude, it was, it was such a cluster. (laughs) It was such a fucking cluster. (laughs) And, and then afterwards he's like, he's like, what? he's like he's like you don't you didn't know the thing i'm like i've never done the other thing he's like why didn't you say so and i'm like what the <laughs> oh that's fucking great man nobody asked me there's nobody here anyhow it doesn't even matter where else were you gonna go bro <laughs> like <laughs> if i leave you're fucked <laughs> oh my goodness the, man the, the, the other fucking time I, I did the christmas mass and there was three altar boys for that one because it's such a fucking m- massive thing. And this other altar boy, the main altar boy, was like this hilarious kid, and he and he kept making jokes, and he had like he knew like this whole parody of the whole sermon and the mass and everything. So like everything that was going on, this kid had like a funnier version of it, and. Like me and the other altar boy were fucking laughing, and the priest kept like looking back and be like, Psst, "Like shut it," you know. And like he was getting pissed off. And, like I got in trouble after that one. Like my even my parents were pissed. Like because every everyone in the the church saw that wasn't my fault. The dude was hilarious, man. Right. I can't help it, man. Shut him up. <laughs> Who brought him along, man? Oh, that is great, dude. That is fucking great. I I had. When when I did it, we had some fun guys with us too. Um, but we used to argue over who was going to do the the big incense ball. You know those things. You oh, the... down, guys. yeah, yeah, and and whether or not you got to do a three sixty or not, that was like a big deal, and that was all fucking fun, man. Did, did you but get to do a three sixty with those things? I think I did once. Yeah, yeah. So I got to do it a couple times. Anyhow, that was kind of fun because it was some some people that I liked. But otherwise, that would have been a real bummer. Because yeah, there's a lot of time sitting up there just fucking boring, and uh huh. You don't want to be there anyhow, man. It's just you're just you're just you excel at everything, man. Wherever you go, so here I am. <laughs> I went to a, a ghost concert where the the Pope Emeritus, mm-hmm. the the singer of the band, uh, came out with. First, he had like the 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 incense thing on the on the chain you know dangling you know over everybody and then he had like the the holy water that he was like sp- sprinting the, the the crowd with meanwhile the the satanic chanting was going on in the background and the intro to the con clavi condio starts it was so amazing it was so amazing that's fucking great man Man, <clears throat> did some church camp time. I did some time in church camp. Did you ever do that? Like it's summer, summer camp that was church camp or any of that? 
I did. I, I got. I got. I got dragged to my friends' like church youth group things quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> and I also did like a a Boy Scout Cub Scout like camp as well. That sucked. I didn't have a good time at mine. <laughs> and the funny thing is it was, it, it's not because it was, it was just fun, but I was like 12. So it was no big, it was, it was camp weed. And it was funny, man. I what? Look back on you it, went like, to yeah, a weed was, camp when you were 12 and it was not a weekend. It was just called camp weed for some reason. And we always laughed about it, but that's not what we were there doing, man. I wish it was. It was Did you make the joke man. every day? Like all the time. This is false man. advertising. Like, that's what I'd be doing. Going to camp weed, man, this summer. But everybody knew you weren't getting any weed. It was church camp, but that's what they called it, man. It was kind of funny. A lot of weeds out there. That's hilarious that you went to camp weed. Right? There was yeah. Yeah. Camp weed, dude. Out in the woods. Cabins, nice lake. A lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. Yeah, so we I went to Apple Canyon Lake. It was pretty cool. Uh, Apple I, Canyon Lake? I remember like every every day we'd swim and the pool was always so freaking cold. Like like unbelievably like you don't want to get in at all cold. Like it was one of those things, but then of course after you get in there, you forget that it's freezing and everybody swims. But we did some cool shit, like learned how to make rope, and uh, we got forced into the, these theatric things. That was traumatizing for for me. Didn't like that at all. Like church play shit. Yeah, like even like forced creativity like hey everybody's in a group of five and you got to come up with a a funny skit in front of everybody it's like what <laughs> like oh, what no you... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, shit. just disaster stuff like like nightmare memory type stuff yeah <laughs> <laughs> what this is camp scare man fuck that shit oh god oh jesus <laughs> uh. <laughs> that's funny man i mean i do remember performing at these things but i don't remember <laughs> i remember the one time though there was this one guy who came out and he was like an archaeologist and he kept talking <laughs> he kept talking about <laughs> dinosaurs and digging up bones and he's out here you know all the kids are back here and He's he's kind of squatting down and showing how you brush things off and all that. <laughs> and people start giggling. <laughs> his whole fucking dick was hanging out of his pants. Man. He had no clue. And he just kept running with it, man. And pretty soon, everybody there had seen his dick and he's still going on. <laughs> fucking digging and shit. It was fucking awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit I forgot about that man the worst part is I can still see his wow it made a lasting impact on you <laughs> it was in camp weed bro camp, J Jerry went to camp weed and uh, saw his counselor's dick I don't think he ever knew man but I mean everybody knew the I mean at some point he's gonna, he's gonna be like hold up like how long has this been out? Like, <laughs> <what? laughs> like <laughs> you think? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Have you ever seen the prank where when somebody falls asleep, you you take like a hot dog or a, a bratwurst and you you put it like slightly into their zipper or into their pants, and then oh. and then you wake them up. And you have some scissors and you wake him up and you're like, hey, man, why is your dick out? And you like snip the <laughs> the wiener or the, the rat horse. <laughs> no, that's great. <laughs> yeah. It hurts already, but it's great. <laughs> Can you imagine waking up? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, gosh. That's... <laughs> I don't know why... You... Anybody would ever think of that prank. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I can't do another volcano full, Jerry. Well, I'm still on my second. You've already done two, so I got. <laughs> this makes me cough a lot. The volcano, so, bro. Once once you get to the second bag and beyond, run that shit through your glass, man. That's that's the way to go. That'll save you. Like the whole bag, like just run the bag through the bomb, yeah, like like this. Well, how do you have that connected? I'll just keep continuing this question until you exhale. That way, there's no long pause. Ta-da. That's it. Oh, you're just like it's not even connected. Connected. It's just like yeah, just a simple mouthpiece. Instead of pressing to your lips, you press it to the gong. It'd be 14, <clears throat> 18, whatever. Wow. Press and rip. How long has that been a thing? I don't know. I've been doing it a bit, but I mean, when, as much as I use the volcano, anyhow, it helps you finish off what you want to finish off. How did I not know this? Why was I not told? I'm sorry. I, give it a shot, man. You got to. Well, I mean, you don't have to start another bag, but next time you do a bag, do it. Well, I mean. I'm 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 gonna do a B zero bowl because I got emotionally yeah, excited for a B zero bowl. Yeah, I haven't had a B zero bowl in like three days. Oh, well, we all want to see that. We all want to see that. Get get, get right. For it. right? Yeah, yeah right. I'm ready for that. I've been I've been dabs only until these flower bowls here. So now I've had two two volcano bowls. Zip. Oh, man, I had some amazing Thai food today, Jerry. Ooh. Yeah. I was craving curry. And uh my wife was like, Oh, how about we go to the this Thai Chinese place? Because she she'll get the pad thai. And I ended up being inspired by something else on the menu. Like, even though I was craving curry and we went there for curry, like I was just reading the menu and I saw this uh crispy trout with uh lemongrass papaya salad and i was like whoa like this sounds wow this sounds like amazing like crispy fried was it? trout holy shit dude it was incredible like yeah. yeah it was like the whole half of the fish like just super crispy fried and to the point where it was like shaped into a bowl because it was so fried crispy oh, right and then the bowl was filled with like that uh, green mango papaya salad. Are you familiar with like the, the, the Thai papaya salad? Which I think kind so. Of, kind of, we're kind of spicy fish sauce, mm -hmm. citric. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. that, but with, but with like mango in it as well. Oh my god! So and the fish was the bowl. The fish was the bowl. Yeah, wow. with crispy skin and all. Eat the skin and everything. That's fucking with me. That's cool, bro. A couple bones, but mostly no bones. That's fucking cool as shit. Was that on your Instagram or anything? I uh, wonder if I missed a picture of that because that that I want to see in your story, man. There you no, go. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't take any pictures of it. I was I was on a date with my wife and oh. yeah, but it was slamming. Super good. Definitely, get, I will get it again, and I bet my wife will too because she was like. Picking at, she was like taking little pieces of fish skin. Do you eat the fish skin when it's crispy? Uh, when it's crispy, yeah, I like that. Like, we even got a, a sushi <laughs> here that's fried salmon skin sushi, I think, where that's like Ooh, the main part of it. It's really good. That sounds good. It's awesome. So, yeah, you can get a whole roll of that here. But it has to be crispy. Otherwise, uh, for me, uh, it's just not my thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm ready for bag um, number two on this one. Are you going to blow another bag, Jerry? Yeah. Yeah. I am. Ah, feels good already. Feels good already. Where, where are we in things, man? Well, there were some complaints about the number of clips. There seemed to be some 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 people shitting on on a number of clips some of those clips were long i said sorry about that uh but i do have some more clips that 
I cut. If you guys are interested in seeing any more clips, I have some more clips. I haven't even seen them. I'm I <laughs> like, them. like, I haven't seen the fucking clips, bro. Yeah, I like them. I was, I was kind of digging it, and but I mean, you know, maybe I like watching myself. I don't know, but it's not one of them. Anyhow, yeah. I, I'd be weird. Then. It wasn't just you, Sussy. It was there was multiple. There's was, there were was several people vocalizing. Oh, damn. What do you guys think? Okay. What do you want? They, they they want they like the clips. They just don't want to see them all in a row. I apologize for that. Uh, I got overwhelmed by all the clips in the list and and looking at a script at the same time. Not a script, but like the the show outline. Right. I felt like if if I don't play these clips, we're gonna run out of stores and bickle things to say and still have clips to play. And by the wow. way, here we are today in that exact scenario. Bam. With a bag to blay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then we're going to play one in a row right now is what you're saying. Yeah. One in a row. One in a All row. Right, I will blow this bag while you. I just don't know which thing. one. Which one? Well, we played the third one. Do you just want to keep them in order? You play the fourth one or do you want? I don't, the third one is, is too long. That that seven minute one. All right, free ball it, man. Whatever you feel like, go for it. I want to. I definitely want to play the one here. Here we go. This one right here. We asked about your least favorite. What's your favorite part? Um, shoot. I don't know. It was all quite the experience. I think right. that. I mean, I didn't go to sleep. Like we were some of the last ones out of the party, you know, and. I don't think I went to bed until like 4 or 4.30 that morning because it was just, I was still on such a high. Like, it was just everybody who was there, the people you got to meet. I mean, we, we sat at the table with, like, the head of research and development and and just you were, you know, you were, you were just right there with them. It wasn't. So I think everybody tried to soak in as much as possible. Um, shoot. I, um... Shoot, maybe even just like the the sesh with uh, with the Lamarck, um, with I don't know, are we allowed to say his name? I don't know if we're allowed to say his name. Yeah, right? ever his oh, with, with Ralph. Ralph. Then yeah, that was uh, quite the experience. Um, shoot, I think we sat in in a square room, you know, big and normally big enough for one or two people, and we sat six, seven people in there and sesh for five hours. That was right. That was. That Ralph, was the experience. Ralph yeah. kind of blew my mind. Yeah, yeah. No, like, he, does that. he was dropping some some like real thermodynamic knowledge and absolutely. Shit. Like we and, learned and, a lot. And it was like you could tell that like, oh, that's fucking real science that he's talking here. That's not like yeah. the shit you read about on on Reddit. <laughs> we know? learned about batteries. We learned about you know the the faults they can have and, right. and the precautions to take with them and. Yeah, it was he. It was that was that was a really fun experience, and then just I think that the fact that it was a very personable experience for all of Stores and Bickle as well. Like even it was you know Sophia. I can't remember the other girl's name that was um Batra. that was always yeah her as well. And um just they're always there, and it was nice to put a, a face to the emails of always talking to people and and yeah. That that's always nice, especially like every time we go to champs with you guys. You know, it's just it's nice that we get to. I wish we were all closer, and we're all kind of actually just spread out, like completely across the country. So right, yeah. But no, I don't. I can't really pick out any one good thing. But it was just a great experience overall. I think so many what, good, great moments. You know, man, that that sesh with with Ralph Lamart was so epic. Like. But, it, us in the hotel room with you with you guys dude that was that was the fucking coolest yeah first time for me for uh was in moroccan hash that's uh right oh, that's oh my right. goodness that yeah. shit was lit up man that was i finished that by the way yeah oh nice did you <laughs> oh my god yeah i yeah. I, I, I didn't want to throw so it away much. I, so no, I crammed I it all you. into a capsule and just vaped it well he made us promise so i'm glad you fulfilled that because i was not prepared to do that i didn't want to let him down Yep, I hear you. I, I was bumming. I thought I was going to take down a whole lot more the night of. And then the morning of, I was going to. And then you know how that whole thing fell apart. So anyhow. But uh, 
I was yeah, bummed that I couldn't steal some of those vapes from Ralph, man. I know. Nice, right? It's exciting. Oh, that beautiful P80 and those prototypes. Fucking A, yeah. man. That's good shit. Fucking A. Yeah, I think that Derby hit it on the the nose. He said they're just a, you know, it's a piece of art or a, what do you? I think he yeah. said something like that. They're just, they're, it's more than just a, a vaporizer. Like it's there's so much that goes into it. You know, just like that handmade. Yeah. So it was nice meeting yeah. Derby too. That was cool. It was absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate cool. him coming out just for that man. That was nice of him to come over, man. It was fun hanging. Yeah. 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 It was a lot of fun. Dude, the way his herbalizer shirt logo was interacting with the Dynavap overlay was mm-hmm. fucking tripping me out. Like Could be right. <clears throat> wow. I couldn't tell which was which at times. <laughs> like he's got a Dynavap shirt. What's what's my sponsor logo then? I don't it was fucking with me, man. Like, I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one that saw it. Yeah. It was it, hey. was, it was really brilliant production. Well I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah they conflicted didn't they all those all those logos seven seconds to a 420 everybody Sweet. uh i'm vaping, gonna bag dabbing bagging is that a thing jerry's yeah, vegan vegan it vegan it this is the end of my second bag on this bowl and i'm not gonna do a third that now puts me at five bags <clears throat> here I did two out there before the show on the hybrid. So seven bags is about when I'm tapping out on the uh, on the format. In terms of what what I can handle <laughs> before I start to feel like damn. Whoa. Whoa. Good bag though. Fucking this this is the punch bag here. This is the punch bag. Mm-hmm. Speaking of punching bag, Jerry. Have you seen that stainless steel brilliant cut? Not in person, but on Instagram I see it. It's fucking gorgeous. This is any more and have you heard anything more about when it might arrive? I, I haven't. haven't. All right. I haven't harassed them in a few weeks. So you've been um, harassing them? No, I haven't. I said I haven't in a few weeks. Do you want to no. let me show, here? Let me show, can you, I, I don't harass people, but you know what I mean. I'm checking yeah. in, going, "Yo, where's the goodies?" Can you make me bigger? I'll I'll make this bigger. I I'm can't wait to see this. This is geez. Yeah, I got you. Hang on. Now that I've caught up with what you're doing, this thing is insane. I just can't get over this. Man, it's so shiny. That's fucked up. And the whole thing is like that, right? <clears throat> yeah, well, the bottom, the bottom is not faceted. It doesn't have the faceted design on the bottom. It's flat, flat bottom. It's yeah, it has the same. It looks like it has the same des- the design as the four piece had. Mm-hmm. Rip. Not really. <laughs> uh, I love you, man. That's fucking great. Uh, shit, I lost my stream yard. I wonder oh, if that oh, if that will be. Right. Will that be like? Can we swap it onto our our aluminum plates? You think? That's a good question. Wow, wow! Look at you with those big curiosities. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think the four piece fits on anything. Probably not. I would assume it's not the exact same tooling and design. I bet there's something different about it. Yeah, the four piece was a tweener. In between diameter in the middle or middle or middle nooner. It was a nooner. <laughs> it's just a nooner. It's a nooner. It's a nooner. That's why. Yeah, man. Is this a shoot some liners? Yeah, it kind of is, man. That's kind of cool. Shoot some oh, dabbers. I, I have the same one. Is that is that the mini nail one or is that the 
Yeah, that's the mini one. I dig this thing, man. Okay. This is a mood mat, though, not a dab mat. I don't want to get shit on it. This is more about yep. glass. Yep, your glass. Your yeah. whole table shakes when you do that. Ooh, camera must be mounted to the table. That's probably what it is. That's yeah, what it is. is yours? Uh, yours right exploding. now? Mine... A little bit. It is technically mounted to the same surface, yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of shit mounted to this to the surface, right? Uh, you Ooh. mentioned the, the mini nail sail. Yes. Yes, there are. So, so like Troy and Jerry get you ten percent off for the rest of this month, which is a few days here. The code Halloween, I believe it is, will get you fifteen percent off on the mini nail. So you save a little extra this month. So. Because our code will work every day of the of, of, of the of the of the week. I mean, you can use our code all the time. We're always got your back there. This is just a current three day left thing. Okay, and then there's something about POTV used vapes on on the notes here as well. What's yeah? The... We no, you don't have to worry about that. We did that last time. Oh, okay. Leftovers, leftovers. Very good, very good. Uh, frick. The Magic Flight launch box, Jerry. Do you have your Magic Flight launch box there? I do. Can we see your Magic Flight launch box? Can you show me your see little my box? Little box, your little beautiful brown box. Let's see my box. Your old crusty brown box. This one hasn't seen a lot of use, although it does look like it's seen a little bit of a. Uh... Oops, too far on the screen there. Okay. Um, that looks better than mine right now. Right. It's got some burn marks, but a little bit, a little bit of char right there. But then otherwise, no, it's in, it's in good shape. You know, all kinds of encouraging shit on the bottom. The gold Magic Flight logoed battery. And I had the stem on here um, because I was uh thinking about how you were talking about fucking around with it and um with and i didn't do that i forgot about that it was the balls but i always hit it native personally just straight up like that and kind of, I, that's how i like it too yeah i do it like this i bring it up and i go wow thanks for, that's a good pov oh. shot right there thanks push that in uh i'm not going to push it in right now because i don't think i have a, a pushback ring in there Oh, I do. It just wasn't working real well. That little rubber okay, thing well, in there. Why don't Why don't we take advantage of this point of view and use it? Like right there, you can see that it's heating up. Yeah. Do you have Do you have a fine grind right now that you can pack this in with? Well, I can either um, I can either use. Hang on a second. Where is it? I can use what came out of my. My medium grind here, which is kind of normal, or we can take the time and run that through the finishing grinder if we wanted. So it's all about time. Like, do we want? Because basically, this just sits on here. I put For, some of this in. Yeah. I put some of this in here and go at it. From what I remember of that finishing grinder, it takes forever. Yeah, not not. I was never a real fan of it. Um, that's why I wondered if you wanted to do that or not. Let's just drop some in, man. Let's just fill the trench. Yeah. Wow. Is that how you do it? Is that how much you put in there? Um, let me see. I usually try to. That doesn't bother me. No. Okay. Why is, that? is that too much, you think? It's it's more than I would traditionally use. Yeah. I mean, to I start with. I move around a little bit. I would probably normally aim for something finer, but yeah, that I mean, works for me. Yeah, I guess I'm used to using a, a finer. Uh, I, I just want enough in there to the point where in between three second pulls, I can jostle it around with a little bit of a, of a shake. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how how I would get the, the best vapor from that thing, the stacking the hits, the stacking right. technique. So show us, show us how it works here. Yeah, I usually just hit it like this, and uh, there's the there's the light. A few seconds, it'll probably be ready to give it a pull, and I just kind of. You see the vapor? Does everybody see the vapor in there? 
how many people in the chat have a magic flight launch box or had a magic flight launch box or encountered one at some point? Okay, so mine's already popped out in the off position area to push it back in. There, it's back on. And yeah, it's kind of, uh, yeah, good. All right, good. So the pushback ring is working. So I got to squeeze it in. And then we can kind of look at it here a little bit. Time to hit it. Oh, not a bad hit. I bet you I went too far. Cause it was, it was, oh, that, that, that's got a smoky taste to it. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's still going. Did I cherry it? Oh yeah. Look at that. It's dab time. Yeah. Damn Jerry. Told you, man. I knew I was going to do it. Cause I go, I go, I, I, I just like to ride it. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm going to keep vaping it. That's the problem with the, with the magic flight is I'll just stir it and keep going. Cause I'm going to do that. I'm gonna ride that line with this vape anyhow, so I just keep on trucking. But but I think we should go ahead and do a dab at some point too. I think it was this. It's a fresh battery, so it's it's kind of it's it's kind of motherfucker, isn't it? See, that's why you got to use a fine grind, and you put enough in there to just barely cover the screens. Toss it around. That way you don't get too big of a hot spot. We turn that off. Yeah, so I kind of pulse it. I'm getting the hang of it now. That last hit was pretty good. Then, then I just kind of shake it around. Okay, is that what you do? <laughs> When's that? Mine, mine's on the kitchen counter. I, I left mine on the kitchen counter. I can't find my Magic Flight batteries. I don't recall where they are, but I have four of them. I have four of them. I don't know where the heck they are. They're not with we're not that in my battery drawer, which concerns me. Uh, but I, I'm told that you can use the Magic Flight launch box in a pinch with any rechargeable double A, as long as you peel the jacket off. Is that is that correct? It's like the same. Mm -hmm. Like I have. I'm, I'm almost positive the company line will be absolutely not. But I know the uh, company line in real be, world. I, I haven't tried it. I've used it with double A's before and didn't get shit out of it. Like, 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 you know, go grab one off the counter kind of thing. And that didn't do anything. It, yeah, that won't well. work unless you modify it. You have to cut the jacket because that, that battery that you're using right there hmm. makes two contact points. When you push it in, the touch is both negative and positive because it's, it's such in the body of the, the battery, which is also a negative. Yeah, no, I did that. I'm just saying the battery wasn't strong enough. But I'm also oh. going to tell you, this is a while back. Like, they got batteries now that are even stronger. So, um, but no, these gold batteries are the ones to use, I think. I mean, they were, they were, they, they kind of, I, I can't tell you much about the battery, like from, from the standpoint, somebody knows what's in it. I just know that every time I ask them, I'm like, what's up, man? They said, we worked hard on those fucking batteries, man. So I know they like this fucking battery. Which okay. I know what the fuck it was. I mean, it, I, it's got a, it's got a, it's got a fucking uh, print on it, but it, it isn't. Uh, How long have I been using the wrong to see that. camera? Like an HD AAN twenty two hundred, and then the next row is fifteen fifty two dash LX. If anybody wants to have fun with that, a gold battery, man. But I need like another pushback ring in here. This one's not cutting it or something. something I always wrong. take that thing out. I want it to push. Like I like to get it to where I have to squeeze it. And as soon as I let go, it's off. That's what's best for my style. So I, this one's getting stuck and, and kind of getting stuck at times. That don't work for me. I come back as cherry. Uh, see, with with my technique, you you hold it in constantly. And you, when you see vapor, you suck the vapor off and you give it a snap. You like give it a, like a little, like, like a shake in your hand mm -hmm. just to, to shake that whole bowl. And then you hold it still. It'll, some vapor will, will appear. You, you, you pull that vapor into your mouth and then you shake it again. And then you like the stacking technique. And then eventually you have like seven or eight little inhales that you can inhale fully and blow out a big fucking cloud. 
That's fucking dope. I've never done that. Yeah, it's called stacking. Stacking. Get, get some fine grind and and give it a try. Yeah, you, you, you stack your stack your hits. You you got to learn the the wrist snap. Yeah, like you, that you put you put a, a small amount in there. That way, when you when you snap your wrists, it shakes the bowl adequately. How do you want to do it? Just is it just? I mean, it's like a. It, yeah, I mean, I usually the tap the fucker. I always tap the fucker or roll it myself. But, but you're trying to keep a whole rhythm going where it's just you know you don't want to lose a whole lot, right? Yeah, is that right? Yeah, I know we've talked about this before. We have. I just never did it. And oh, I've never okay. seen it. I've never seen the snap in action. I, well, I did it. I did it last time. I'm sure. Mm, I don't think so. Well, I can't find my batteries. I, I have the, that other double A, but I'm, the the flight box and that other double A is in the kitchen, on the counter, and it's twenty seconds to four twenty. We that? should dab on that. Dab or bowl. on the four twenty, whatever. I was gonna do a bowl. I'm gonna dab because uh, I'm I'm like dab behind on all this shit. Oh, you owe it, dab, because you combusted. Yeah, and it's for. Uh, uh, yeah, I owe it, dab, because we combusted, and it's 4:20. So we got double somethings. However, you want to pull it. Wait, so. do do I owe the dab because you combusted too? Is that how this thing works? Like, because you you always absolutely do not, and I don't think you should feel any any um uh obligation to do one. <clears throat> <clears throat> this kid's going at it here, though. Hmm. I'm gonna put this in. About uh, we did a we did a, a a slurper earlier, right? Didn't we start this shit off with a slurper? It's four twenty. Cheers, Jerry. We did start the show out with a slurper. Man, I am like, I'm I'm pretty good and baked, man. Um, <laughs> I wanted to say, wanted to ask. Oh, no, I got an email today from Magic Flight Launchbox about a new Magic Flight Launchbox edition. Literally today. I got, I'm not going to show you my email because it would reveal too much. Did you look but into it? The the Magic Flight. I mean, it's just like a, a different etched design or whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought. That usually edition is just like, you know, we got a new. Part. Yeah, yeah. That's all they're doing is different, different arts. Right, <laughs> but I wanted to point out that they're still in business. Like it's still, yeah. it's still, they're still available. You can that, still buy that them. Alone is impressive, right? Yeah. Like if I, if I look up, let me see here. Damn, they can open this fucking. There we go. Whoa! Sometimes they don't want to open, man. Jesus, what doesn't open? These fucking little things, the little little jars that I use for the for the concentrate, the fucking oh. things I get. The, the, sometimes they like don't want to fucking open up, man. Like serious about the child protection. Yes, that's tough, man. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. those things they get a little uh, gummy on the threads. Is that what yeah. it is? I ain't worried about the kids getting into this. That's for sure. I'll have to check that out. Anyhow, I didn't mean to go the wrong way here. We were, we were magic flighting, but uh, yeah, it's interesting. Um, are you are you pulling up the site? No, I was looking into some some keyword data. Yeah, there are still thousands thousands of searches per month on Google for the Magic Flight Launch Box. Thousands. That's amazing. Does it say anything about where they're from or anything? Or not, not on that level? Uh, I mean, right now it's at the global. Yeah, I just wonder where those people are. I don't know. Like, are they hit, are they hitting some other markets? You know, are they are they going to some new markets somewhere? Yeah, sixty five percent of it is U.S. Six okay. percent is Canada. Five percent is U.K. Three percent is Germany. One percent is Australia. Get the fuck out. And South America asking. didn't even register. Thank you, dude. Those are great fucking numbers. So 
so we got a lot of yanks want to want to check out the magic flight man so yeah man maybe it's maybe it's a hippie resurgence you know man All right, we're coming back what do you think that's pretty impressive what's the appeal who are these people what are they looking for i don't know i mean run across some old marketing i don't I don't. Is it like a nostalgia thing? I mean, when I when I first moved to California, and I started buying weed, this was like 2012, 2013. Every dispensary that I went to, and I would ask about vapes, they would they would they would either have the Magic Flight launch box, or they would have a fake version of the Magic Flight launch box, and they would literally call it the Magic Flight launch box. And I noticed that there were even several different versions of the fake one. Oh, wow. Because there was like good. a fake one that came in a tin. There was a fake one that came in a box. There was a fake one that came in like a plastic thing. Some of them were, were not even called like Magic Flight Launch. Some of them had like a completely different name, like Space Box. <laughs> but it was the same fucking thing. Oh, no. Yeah. And they were, so they were hard to get everywhere. Right. Even That's Craigslist was loaded with them. Because like, I was emailing people. I'm like, hey, is that a real one or is that a fake one? And they're like, I don't know. How do you how do you tell? I'm like, well, if you don't fucking know, it's probably fucking fake. So uh that does a lot of damage to a brand, man. That'll that'll fuck shit up. Right. Right. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't like that everywhere, but I I think that that company uh like it, that one was that started like in the nineties, late nineties. Magic the flight, magic, yeah. No, early two thousands. No, two thousand six um, or something. It's been it's been around for more than a decade, isn't it? It was they they showed up on the forum. So it was after 08. So it was uh I think it was oh eight or oh nine when they started rolling. Okay. Because they started I, out beta testing a tube. And then they quickly moved to the box. And there's documentation of the tube somewhere on there. And then there's the beta box thread somewhere on fuck combustion when they showed up about that. Okay, okay. At least there so used to be. When I when I first tried one, uh, I remember the guy who showed me his his launch box. It looked like it was a decade old. <laughs> he, he put some miles on that fucker, Danny, <laughs> man. That's good. That's good. And, wow. I, and I think that was like 2009 or 2010. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Motherfucker. What are you hitting? Is that the core? The core 2.0. I, yeah, I pulled this off the shelf the other day, man. And I haven't put it back yet. It's, it's a good little grab. Nice. Okay. So I like that glass. It looks like some cool glass. This oh. one I like to hit. I didn't like the one they came with. Yeah, the bottle. The bottle, the little. Yeah, fucking straight down. Don't make me go straight down on something. <laughs> don't make don't make Jerry go down on something. No, I don't want to go straight down on something. Not straight like, down. He'll go uh, he'll go down on it, but not not straight down. I like to come in at an angle. <laughs> I'm not coming in hot. I want to come in and be able to you know get right in there. So where I was going with this, 2009, like where where was cannabis legal? in 2009 like colorado you like california. california california had medical but not recreational 2009 so uh, it wasn't it wasn't did. legal very many places but magic flight launch box was successful because they approached head shops like all the smoke shops and all the dispensaries like they they had that and they had like their own successful marketing, they like they marketed everywhere, mm -hmm. uh, and and it had that 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 gizmo appeal, like that, you know, like the first cell phone, like whoa, look at this thing, you know, like you can vape your weed with this little vape. It had yeah. that uh, appeal, like the little steampunk hack kind of appeal, and and at a at hundred bucks, it was super affordable, you know. Bro, when when it came out, 
like I said, I mean, I I tested it and 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 used it for a while because it's it's what was available. And I remember walking to the beach one day using this thing and going, man, I if I had to use one word to describe it, it was liberating. It was the first time I'd had something in my hand that I felt safe taking out in public and taking a quick puff on in 2010 or whatever fuck it was you know what i mean like i was like damn and and in and a, and a non-legal state like no no medical no nothing you know like i had to be i had to be real careful with that shit so for it, it it literally took me from from my bedroom to anywhere pretty fucking quickly because i needed something that was absolutely incognito that i could easily just kind of separate and, and not worry about um I use this quite a bit back in the day and, and, but I was always riding the line and always using different batteries and I had a hard time with consistency. You know what I'm saying? Cause I always wanted to take it hot. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I enjoyed the hits. They fuck you up, but I was, I was definitely pushing it. And I, obviously I still do <laughs> like, I mean, this shit right. dark now, man, I'm going at it. That's cause so. you combusted in it. But no, I kept going. Like, I mean, I, like that was just a little bit the first time there was still plenty of green right now. This shit is like, all fucking to totally done. So mm -hmm. I, I gotta be like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's how it's how I ride my box. Jeez, I fucked that shit up. Damn, that's the dark spot in this fucking D bowler is. <laughs> can you see the spot that came from the box? If I told you it was the dark spot, oh yeah, I can, see it. I can see it. Like Seven o'clock, six thirty. Yeah, that shit was legit, man. All right, I'm going in on this dab, Jerry's combustion jet dab, Jeru. All oh, right, on. Thanks, bud. Cheers. Yeah, man. So I, I think it was about a year ago. They also stopped selling through the um, retail wholesale type channels, and now the only way you can get them is, is through their website. So I don't know if that's due to pulling back on on production or lower demand or just having to shrink back everything. I don't know. I'm just glad they're still around and still doing their thing because it is funny. Like I don't, I don't use this anymore, but when I look around, there's nothing that really does what this does in this size frame. And it's funny that it's not until now that we're starting to get portable convection on demand vapes that I get excited about. And this was around as a conduction one for so long ago. Like I, like every time I'm going, Oh, we can never get on demand. And then I go magic flight. And I go, Oh yeah, we've had that for since the beginning. <laughs> I, I remember, I remember that, uh, that little blind hypocrisy spot in the, in the space. Yeah. Cause it didn't count. Cause it was conduction. But it was a valid on-demand vape. Absolutely. You know, for for that that opportunity where you want no vapor wasted, or you want that sneakable hit, or you have that less than two minutes, less than a minute to vape. You know, those situations are real. Those situations mm -hmm. are real. Like now, if it's the you... tiny mite. Now it's the tiny mite. The tiny mite's the one that. Like I need to vape a bowl and I the car is running, you know. Tiny might do. Yeah. I can pack that and hit it real quick. I mean, still volume wise, no comparison. Uh, but you can say that about the vapor too. So <laughs> it is, I'm 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 happy, dude. I've I've walked around the house with this a lot lately. Like the other uh, tiny might too. I'm I'm surprised how much I'm using a portable now. You know. Yeah. I'm at home. I always use a desktop. Now you're using the glass stem? Is that what you're using? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the cooling unit does its trick. These shorter stems fit my style. I'm not running around and chucking them in bags or jogging. I'm, so, in other words, I'm not putting the stem at risk very often. So, I, do, I like it better. My titanium is an inch longer. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind... I don't mind the extra inch, Jerry. So I, I, I like that it's more durable. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I've somebody, mm -hmm. I've sent a few people uh, have posted pictures on Instagram of their broken dynamite stems when they drop it. Like if they oh, drop wow. it, and that scares me. 
It scares me. Uh, <clears throat> even even the potential to chip the glass and and not catch it, you know, until you're putting your hand on it or your lips on it. That 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 worries me a little bit. I fed that up with a beer bottle. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but the the durability of that titanium, plus the way it looks, looks badass. Mm-hmm. Like I know that I can drop it, I can throw it, I can hit somebody with it, whatever. It's yeah. not gonna not gonna break. I'm with you there. If the titanium were shorter, I probably would have stuck with it. I just got just got tired of it. Like I said, okay. I'm just basically I'm just going on the deck with it or taking it in the car, taking it in the car or something like that where I feel pretty good about it. But I'm I'm not taking it on my bike rides. I dropped I dropped a whole bottle of tequila the other day, dude. Like slipped right out of my fucking hand like I never like I had it. And it was almost in the freezer. And it was a frozen bottle of tequila too. A this frozen a bottle of tequila. Yeah, like I keep I keep a, I keep a bottle of of tequila in the freezer and this particular bottle was a patron bottle it wasn't patron tequila it was considerably better than that and um that fucking bottle shattered into like shards like i mean like like little slivers like itty bitty razor slivers all over the place in this weird kind of a peely way it was sticking to it it was really fucked up and to the point where whatever whatever touched it was was going in the in the trash for fear that we wouldn't be able to get the glass really out again and it would it would it would go on your skin it was it was scary the way it broke it broke in a really fucked up way dude that sucks yeah a whole bottle of tequila <laughs> well that and, and the mess yeah yeah the mess the mess my sweetheart uh took care of me there because i was starting to lose it oh <laughs> She came in and goes, dude, I got this. I got this for you. So I was like, are you sure? She's like, yes, go. <laughs> I said, thank you. <laughs> and I was just looking at all that tequila. I'm like, oh. And it was like, I just some of the best tequila we bought in a while. And I was like, damn, man. So, yeah. how, how did it slip out of your hands? It's hard to say because the... The Patron bottle has a really nice neck and a big fat lip, and I usually have it gripped like that so that it's, I mean, I have to have a complete failure right here of everything for it to, you know what I mean? Like if something has to give, and it was just, it was weird to me. I was like, how the fuck did that? I mean, that's a, I think I probably held it like this this time. And then, and then it probably slipped out of that. Whereas if I held it the way I always okay. do, it never, well, I should have held it like a, like a, like one of those T handles, and instead I was holding it like a like a joystick, like like a dick. <laughs> okay. Patron is that the one with like the the square boob style with like the ring bottle? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's square and it comes up and then has a neck and a big lip on the neck and it has a yeah. big round round core. Oh, yeah, neck. okay, yeah. I've had, I've had that. Yeah, it's it, it's the good, but now it's now it's um now it's overpriced commercial, you know. But a long time ago, it was actually was really good, but now it's kind of I, I can find a lot of better stuff on the on the shelf. <clears throat> Man, uh, there was this this bar that I used to go to in San Francisco when when I would fly to San Francisco every like three months uh, for for work at Ebates. Uh, it was called Tres Agaves. And it was a uh, it was a tequila bar. It was a tequila and tacos bar. Oh, nice. So they had they had like a hundred different premium tequilas. Nice. And holy shit, I fucking loved going there. Whenever I was in town, I would I would head up to that place for uh, tacos and tequila. Did you ever get like one of those, like? I've I've seen a place that has like one hundred, two hundred, and three hundred dollar shots. Did you ever approach any of those? Yeah, not quite that pricey, but I, th I think I think we had some hundred dollar shots that somebody else bought. Like when there was there was there was some company events there, and and sometimes people would would drop some some pretty big money. So yeah, I think I tried I tried like some hundred dollar shots or maybe some eighty five dollar shots, but okay. definitely. Uh, uh, a whole lot of uh, bottles. 
because they, they would buy they would buy bottle service. Are they worth it? If if there's tables drinking, yeah. No, no, no. Are the eighty five and hundred dollar shots worth it? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm. I think if you're if you're a taster, like if you know if you can taste the differences between those things, and that's your hobby, that's what you're into, then sure, like t- like paying that price, tasting that, like getting that experience. Like for me, it's like. Is, is it worth to, to buy the hundred dollar eighth? Not every time, but yes, you know, it's still like, I, I want to know what the, what the best of the best is. Now I, it's also important to, to point out that there's a difference between like a hundred dollar eighth and like an eighth that's been marked up to a hundred bucks because right, right. there, there is that there is, there's a big difference in, in that shit. All right, cool. Because I'd had like a fifty dollar shot before that I got once, and I thought it was good, but I didn't like it more than my fifty dollars at that particular night. You know what I mean? But I was like, oh, I can see the difference. I can see where I might really like that, but not for fifty bucks for me. You know it's the Kayla Sillier thing. So, so is that is that? Yeah, yeah. That's typically what I I lean towards. So, cool. Yeah, my sister likes tequila too. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Mexico here in a couple months. Oh, well then. Yeah. Tequila. Yeah, I guess. Not the. Not, not the uh, I mean, you can get cerveza, but yeah. You know, don't. I'll have don't, to see don't if blunt. I can stream from when I'm down there, Jerry. Oh uh, yeah, you're gonna be there on Friday. That'd be great. You know. Actually, no. I'll be down there. No. No. I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll be coming back on a Friday though. Oh, so that might be a problem. Oh, well, how how far away away from that? Uh, two more months. Oh, cool. We'll figure that out. Yeah. All right, Jerry, I got to pee. I can tell, man. Troy's got the rock going, man. Did we hit all the bases tonight? I do not have the rock going. Thanks for asking. Oh, oh, you mean the rock? I understand what you're saying now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. There was a bunch of magic flight bullet points that I, I, I thought about talking about, but I'm not really dealing. Oh, we talked about the magic flight ball mod. Like that was that was one of the things I wanted to talk about. The potential. Did you ever the, try that? I haven't. But if anybody out there with, with balls and the Magic Flight <laughs> lunchbox wants to try doing a Magic Flight ball mod, uh, we talked about putting some balls inside there. And there's not going to be a lot of heat. So you're not going to be able to heat a trench full of balls. You're not going to be able to heat a trench full of balls. But if you can put some some balls in there in the zone where it gets hot and then contain those balls around only the zone where it gets hot and then potentially pack a little bit of herb mm-hmm. in the, the glass stem, you could potentially make a micro-sized herb magic flight air. ball vape. Just heat exchanger herb airflow. Yeah, let me, let me swoop you out here. Yeah, so you make this a heat exchanger herb out here and run the air through it and see if you can get some vapor coming out the end there is the idea. So I could see that. I could see that. I have to see how that works. I can say that when I when I look at this thing and I see the the simplicity of it and the and and where the design was headed, I would love to see the creative force behind this unleashed on today's technology and really do something similar that's that's small and minimal and makes you go oh i didn't even know you could do it like that you know what i mean like be dope that's what this little fucking thing was magic flight is still alive magic flight launch box 3.0 like with now with balls right come on guys give me something give me something i love your style would it be how rad would it be love your style man love to see a magic flight ball of vape just throwing that out there wouldn't that be fucking sick if, if that 
is the vape that comes out and changes it all like the the vape that potentially started a lot of of awareness on dry herb vaporizers in the portable sense okay okay so i would say and like I, li I like if we combine these ideas like like this thing i don't know if it can be converted if it can great that makes sense but yeah this this philosophy applied to a ball vape could actually yeah this right? philosophy applied to a ball vape man simplistic minimal easy manual but that's cool man because that's why it all works you know what i mean like you don't want electronics fuck that shit it's very true you could have a very simple even a hybrid ball vape if you do it right yeah. okay i like where you're going man i like where you're going are you going pee is that where you're going i uh, yeah i just peed my pants don't worry about it <laughs> It was worth it. That the magic flight ball of vape idea was just worth it. So I just, I'm just kidding. The the urge went away. Oh, it'll do that sometimes. Right on, man. Right on. Yeah. So cool, it's man. Caffeine. It? I, had, I had a Coke for lunch. That's why I don't have a Coke right now. I had a, I had my Coke with my lunch. So. Well, that'll do it to you, kids. Yeah, remember I, that I didn't, Coke with your lunch. Didn't actually pee my pants. That's funny. So I need to stand up and prove it. <laughs> no, no, you're good, man. You don't have to. I mean, you can if you want, but dab if you need to pee. Hey, oh, there's a lot of refinements on these new ones, man. With the bevel, like kind of they 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 put a, an a, uh, it's not a sharp edge. It's like it's like bevel. Would you say a bevel when they bevel the edge like that? They just kind of take it at an angle around. Is that what that's called? I don't fucking know. I think so. Anyhow, yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to fuck around with this again. It it kind of reminds me a little bit of the, the nomad. Like the nomad was kind of like this philosophy applied artfully with a different engine, sort of, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? And okay. about a battery and a button. Yeah, oh, battery and a button. It, it, it took me a minute to to realize which nomad you were talking about. For some reason, I, I went to like the the Vivant fucking pod system and i'm like how does oh. that remind you of the pod? and i'm like and then i was like oh the the one from dan now i understand all right good that's funny well as long as we're on the same page there so oh man all right so did you want to hit any more of those or wrap it up i'm done i'm okay i gotta pee right on. I'm yeah, hungry. I got to thinking know. about the the foods. The and foods. Yeah, I'm dabbed out. I'm ready to I'm ready to play. We got we got a bunch of clips that we didn't play, but that's that's okay. All right, cool. We can play some more again sometime, man, because they're good clips, man. Yeah, yeah, we can we can shit we can play one of them right now. What do you want to do? do? I don't know. I just I just want to go pee really. All right, then let's let's say good night, guys. You've been fun. <laughs> uh, Thanks for watching. Great, man. Hey, man, we Thanks don't have we don't have Amanda tonight for the the music and and stuff, so it's uh, been a little bit different. Do an outro, yeah. Different. Do an outro. All right. See you guys next Friday. Actually, no. See you on Monday for the Halloween. Yeah. We're gonna stream on Monday. What what time are we streaming on Monday? 420 your time, bro. 420 my time. 420 Pacific yeah. time. Yeah, so, with, a, with some kind of costume thing. Yeah, dress dress up, dress down, whatever you're going to do. Yeah. Uh, just don't dress as a clown because Jerry is scared shitless of fucking clowns. Yeah. Not on Halloween, you'll mess with me, man. No. I'm just kidding. Oh, wait, or, or are you? Are you really? No, but Pennywise was a motherfucker. Okay, okay. All right. Well, we'll see you guys. Famous. See you guys on Monday. Peace. Have a good Peace, weekend. Guys. up.
Troy. Happy Friday, Jerry. Good to see you, man. Whew. Good to see you too, man. Good to see you too. It's been a week. I'm ready for a good weekend, man. I'm ready for a good weekend too. I'm gonna get really fucked up. I got to hit that thing. A pretty special piece, man. Got some vapes to beat up. Vapor streaming, just what you needed. Glad that you're here. Thank, 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 thank.